Well, hello there, American accent today. How's everyone doing? I'm actually one Hope you've been good. It's Friday, and I'm off now for nine days, so I'm extra Friday happy. So good. Today I'm reviewing Sahara Noir by Tom Ford. Ah, oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Didn't at first. Now I do. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's my first Tom Ford fragrance I've ever purchased, and I've just recently bought two more as well. Got a bit of a Tom Ford streak. So, this one, um, yeah, didn't love it at first. It takes a lot of getting used to if you're not really into heavy fragrances. I am. Uh, even for me, I was a bit taken aback by it, but um, I've grown to love it. I've worn it over two weeks, pretty much half, well, 75% of the time. I've worn it a lot of times to really just get a feel for it and try to love it. So this came out in 2013. It only comes in 50ml. Um, it's an oriental floral. And everything in this fragrance, uh, all of the ingredients are really luxurious and sourced from places like the Middle East um, and India and North Africa. It's just really, really cool. Um, it's an ode to incense, apparently, according to Tom Ford's website, or according to Fragrantica, actually, I should say, who I think took the description off of Tom Ford's website, I'm not sure. Um, and it's just, um, yeah, huge, heavy hitter. I'll read you the notes. It these notes are just wowzers to me. This is just something really special. It's the height of luxury, I think. Um, and I just love it. And I'm going to try something new in this review. We'll see how that goes, because I'm not usually very technical, tech, technologically savvy. That's what I was going for. I'm technologically challenged. So... The ingredients. Okay, the top notes are bitter orange, then you have Levantine Cypress. Cypress is a green note. Checking brain memory thing. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, Cypress is a green note. It's an aromatic note. Uh, then you have Cistus, which to my knowledge, Cistus Labdanum. Labdanum is a resin. It's used to create an ambery feel to a fragrance. And it's really, really powerful. So to have it in a top note, this sets the tone for the fragrance already. I've not pressed record. Yes, I have pressed record. Yeah, I have pressed record. I just had this image of me having to do this all over again. Um, yeah, so, Cistus. Uh, then the heart notes are frankincense, cinnamon, papyrus, rose absolute from Morocco, um, Egyptian jasmine, and then beeswax from Burma. Rich stuff, rich stuff, rich stuff, rich stuff. Powerful stuff, powerful stuff, powerful stuff. Expensive stuff, expensive stuff, expensive stuff. You get the gist. Uh, then the base, just to add to that um, depth and everything else that's already going on, you have Labdanum Absolute again. Now, I own Labdanum Essential Oil. It's one of the most powerful things I own in my little kit of perfumery stuff. Uh, Labdanum Absolute, as well as Labdanum in the top, can't even imagine. Just craziness. Then you have something called Ambrinol, um, which is supposed to be... What does it say here in my notes? Let me just check. Um, it says it's an intense labdanum fraction. So it's a piece of labdanum taken out maybe and refined even more. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just craziness. Uh, cedarwood. Um, frankincense again. Frankincense resin. Then you have benzoin, which is going to add a bit of caramelly sweetness. Oud. Can't deal with oud, but um, in this, thankfully, it's not too bad. Um, vanilla. And then balsams. So even more resinous stuff added in there. Everything in here is just... Take the most expensive and rich Arabian, North African, exotic stuff you can find and just shove it in a perfume and then just make an explosion of something extremely rich and luxurious and that's what this is. So I said I was going to try something new for this review so let's see how it goes. I'm going to do it now. So as you can see, hopefully, the bottle, <laughs> really really gorgeous, gold. This perfume is part of Tom Ford's signature collection. 
Um, they all have a very similar look. So if you're looking for a signature collection fragrance by Tom Ford, you will know because of this design. They have the ribs here, like you can see. Did it work? Uh, they all have a little necklace on them that's kind of elasticated. Look. Ping! Did it work? Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of other ones in the collection. Black Orchid, really popular. Um, Grey Vetiver for men, Velvet Orchid, obviously, White Patchouli, which I've just purchased as well. Can't wait to get it. And I also purchased Black Orchid. So yeah, they all follow this theme. Let's come back. <laughs> Please say that worked. <laughs> if it did, I'll be really impressed with myself. So Tom Ford Signature Collection, if you don't know already, none of them are shy and retiring. None of them are things you can probably just blind buy and go, oh, I like that, unless you're quite daring, like me with fragrances. They are all bolshy, they are all very powerful, they're all noticeable, they are all really good quality, I think, as well. Some more than others, obviously, uh, but they are all very much statement fragrances, so um, they're just really great if you're into something heavy and mysterious and dark. So, what does this smell like to me? Oh, actually, before I do that, let me just quickly read out the description of Hergantica, because blah, 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 blah. Schoolboy error. Sorry about that. I'm not going to read you the whole thing, I'll just read you the bit that I thought was really, really cool because it kind of sorts it out in your head. So it says, Sahara Noir is inspired by the mystery, beauty and luxury of the Middle East. Tom Ford decided, dis, Tom Ford decided, lots of D's, drrr, uh, decided to focus on incense, a highly valued ingredient which symbolises respect and devotion and has been used in religious ceremonies for centuries. The balsamic and resinous shades of incense remind us of distant lands and stimulate the senses like a breath of desert wind. Um, yeah, there's tons going on in this. Amazing. Shiny. My face is gold. So I don't need to spray this on my hand because I've worn it for two weeks, like I said, and I mean, it, pff, you just don't need to be spraying it over and over. What does it smell like to me? When I first sprayed it, I was really overwhelmed. I thought it was kind of ugly. I thought it was overbearing. I didn't really understand it. I thought, oh, this is um, just, even for someone that likes heavy stuff, this is just not kind of my style. Um, it's unisex completely. It's aimed at women, but it's completely unisex. And people will probably argue about that for years to come, but whatever. I think it's unisex. It smells to me, um, the main body and the main core of this is a very um, syrupy, thick, gloopy, dark resin. That's what you get. You get a very heavy, almost smells like myrrh, even though it's not in there. Um, very heavy, regal, kind of rich perfume. But what kind of dances and whispers over the top is a really, really nice wood uh, incense combination. I also smell when I first spray it something that smells like burnt coffee. It's a really, it's like if you took coffee and just over roasted it, so it's a bit bitter as well. Coffee is not listed as a note either, but um, that's the kind of feel that I get for it. Think of very dark browns, syrupy, sticky coffee and resins um, with a very Arabian feel. Don't know why I did that, but Arabian, I should wear a headdress or something. I should wear a headdress every day. That'd be fun. So, yeah, it takes quite a while to settle, um, and I really don't think that it changes majorly over time, but this is all about luxury, all about hugely heavy notes. Really, really strong, this perfume. Uh, longevity, which I normally say at the end, but I'll say it now. Astounding. I sprayed two sprays on each side of my neck and one each on my wrist. I sprayed that at seven o'clock in the morning the other day uh, and didn't reapply it at all throughout the day, which is really hard for me because I like to just reapply and get the top notes again. This one is one of those perfumes, doesn't need it at all. I got home at seven o'clock that night, which is whatever many hours later, I can't do math, 12. Uh, I could still smell it on me, on myself. That never happens. You can normally get a bit anosmic to your fragrances and you know, you just, can you, can you, can you smell me? Well, I do that anyway, I don't know about you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I could still smell it wafting on myself. If I was walking home and I, I turned around, I, my nose was still catching whiffs off of my neck. So 
incredible quality in this fragrance so it's really worth the money which is quite expensive but you know so yeah huge rich core dancing woods and incense over the top which make it just that bit sharp and um, it's got a, a very um, rich just a touch of sweetness in the base from the benzoin and vanilla but they're never really the stars of the show this is all about the resins and these balsams that they talk about um, and labdanum, labdanum being a hugely, hugely massive, how many more words can I say to describe the word big? Labdanum, hugely potent, no, anyway, and it's in there twice, so just whatever, massive. When it dries, um, which takes <laughs> hours to actually dry down, um, it, it doesn't change hugely, what it does do on my skin is it becomes the top the top tones of it, the overtones, like the wood and the incense, become a little bit more prominent and the deeper, rougher, coffee kind of stuff takes a step back. So it gets a little bit sharper, which is nice. It gets a little bit more smoky and, uh, did I say more sharper? It gets a little bit more sharp, gets a little bit more smoky and it really just trails and it just feels just luxurious. It's one of those, it's one of those fragrances that you wear and you feel a bit empowered when you wear it. It's not going to be for everybody, I can safely say that because even myself I doubted it and I really have an eclectic taste in fragrances but um, yeah when I got used to it I fell deeply in love. So amazing. That's it. I'm out from my own. Click my logo to subscribe and technical issues are gone. And I'll see you guys soon for another review. Goodbye.